abstraction barriers separate parts of the program that have different purposes. When we think about abstract data types, we should think about introducing abstraction barriers in our program. And in particular, here are the abstraction barriers that we'd like to include for a program that uses rational numbers as we've been using them before. So at the very highest level, rational numbers are treated as whole data values. That is, they might be combined with each other through addition, multiplication, or tested for equality, but parts of the program that treat rational numbers as whole data values won't ever inspect their parts. At the next level down, rational numbers are treated as numerators and denominators, and their parts can be accessed through the rational function to generate a rational number from a numerator and denominator, or the numer and denom functions that actually select for those parts. The next level down says that rational numbers are implemented as tuples, meaning that a rational number is in fact just a tuple. Finally, we know we have an interface for interacting with tuples, which is through the getItem function or the bracket notation, and through tuple literals, but we're actually not privy to exactly how those are implemented in Python, and we really don't care. What we do care about is that they work as we were told. Abstraction barriers allow us to write modular programs. If I focus most of my work on combining rational numbers using just the add rational, mole rational, and equal rational functions, then I could actually change the implementation of rational numbers from a tuple to something else, and my program would still work because it was defined in terms of an abstraction barrier. If on the other hand, I mix all of these functions together in one place, then if I want to make a change to one of their implementations, I might have to change the rest of my code as well, which is an undesirable outcome. So let's look at some code that violates abstraction barriers. Here I've said I'm going to add rational, but I pass in two tuples as opposed to rational numbers. Now, of course, they're the same thing in our current implementation, but what if I want to change them down the road? Here's a function that divides a rational number x and y, and it does so by accessing it with element selection notation. So here are the problems I see. It doesn't use a constructor, which means that I can't change my representation without changing this piece of code. It does it again. Now I'm getting a little bit upset. We failed to use a selector here, and what did we return? Well, we returned the value of a tuple literal instead of calling the constructor. So there are all these things that are going to need to change if I ever want to change from tuples as my representation to something else. So this will give me headaches down the road. It also makes your professor very upset. Do not violate abstraction barriers. If you do, and I see you doing it, I will take the piece of paper you're writing on or the computer you're using, and I will personally light it on fire and watch it burn. Because if you violate abstraction barriers, your code will burn.